Hi there and welcome to Sean Cameron Photographic. Thank you so much for joining me. Now this is really exciting for me because today I'm going to introduce you to something new. It's called Classroom Shorts. Yes I know. They're small short videos that I think may be useful and they'll contain tips and advice on things that perhaps you have asked me about. Okay, today we're going to be talking about how you update firmware on Nikon cameras, but don't forget a lot of these subjects is how I do it, not necessarily how you do it. Neither of us is wrong, everyone does something different, but I thought I'd stick to something fairly safe today because really there's only one way to do this. Okay, let's take a look, shall we? So as you can see, I'm using Windows, but it's the same process to be quite honest, whether you're using Windows or Mac. Okay, so you've located the website, you've chosen which one you want to use. This shows the changes from the last firmware to the update. Take a note of the numbers just to see whether you do need an update or not. That's the product description and updating the camera firmware. That will tell you basically what I'm going to tell you now. Okay, accept and download. It's only a small file, so once it's downloaded, go to your download files, copy that and put it into a pre-prepared folder. Copy and paste it. Open it up. and you will see a folder appears. Open that folder, and that's the file you're after. Copy and paste it into, onto your card. You obviously put, already put the card into the card reader, as you can see. Don't put it into the normal file that you'd normally find your pictures. Put it straight directly onto the card, as you can see there. And then you take it out and pop it into the camera. Okay, welcome to the filthiest camera with the biggest thumbprint going that I could choose. We pop the card in the camera with the firmware on it. Switch it on, press menu. As you can see, we're looking for the setup menu and then right down the bottom of the setup menu, we've got firmware version. Choose that and click OK. As a matter of interest, it's probably easier to click up as soon as you get into the setup menu because you get to it instantly. And then press OK. So press update, check the number. Remember, you don't want to update anything that's already updated, there's no point. It should actually show you a lower number. It'll actually compare and ask you if you want to update one to the other. You press update by pressing OK, and then you'll see a timeline. And it usually takes about five minutes to update. Once it's updated, you'll actually see the bar with done highlighted. That means you can delete the information off the card and your firmware is updated. It's as simple as that. Now, if you want to update the FTZ firmware, you need to go to a slightly different part of the website. Just Google Z62 FTZ firmware and you'll find it. As you can see, you can check which cameras that it's actually for and it'll give you exactly the same file. You open that up and you open another file and it's exactly the same process. You pop it into the camera, Make sure you've deleted the first firmware update if it's on the card, if you're updating the FTZ firmware. But basically you follow exactly the same procedure. Well, I hope that was useful. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you liked it, don't forget to like it. And if you really liked it, don't forget to subscribe. I tell you what, why don't you pass it on and share it with your friends? I'm feeling generous. See you soon. As I say, hope you enjoyed it.